There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There's actually two of them, there's two of them. I don't know which one to take. I think the one in the front is the big... Yeah, that's going to be the biggest one right there. I had so much fun hunting white till yesterday. And the fact that we were actually hunting them out of tree stands. I really want to continue doing that. I want to use a tree stand. And I want to try and call in the big bucks and take them down with the bow. If they come into range. But if they don't, we're going to take them one. We just found a huge herd of white-tailed deer out here. There's got to be about seven or eight different bucks, including two really good ones. There's one max weight buck right in the middle, and I'm going to try and call and see if they come in to bull range. Oh, they are definitely coming. We put out one call, and they are definitely on the move. Well, that's definitely one of the big bucks right there at about 177, and I don't think he's going to come any closer. Oh, hold on, hold on. So we'll be patient. We'll, uh, we'll be patient. We'll put out a couple of calls and let them come in. Well, they're only 47 yards away, so they're definitely in range. Just a matter of finding the right buck, guys. That's all we're looking for. And he just stepped out right there, 100 yards away. A little bit too far for a shot with a bow, but we could definitely take him with the M1 if he doesn't come closer. It does seem like he's interested, though, because these bucks are... Oh, that buck right there's about 50 yards out he's almost in range you know what he's broadside at 50 i think we might take that shot if that doe moves her head we would definitely take that shot move doe move doe move doe thank you beautiful shot and they're all gonna take off but i don't think he's gonna take off too far well, they trotted off over there in that brush somewhere. I can't exactly see him at this point, but I know our buck is piled up about 50 yards in front of us here. So I think we're going to pick him up, hop down, and see if we can't slide over and set up on that big buck. Well, this is a pretty decent buck as well, so let's pick him up and see how we did. What an awesome double lung shot out of a tree stand at 52 yards. Look at the angle that the arrow was at there. Almost completely vertical. 171. That's our buck. That's our buck. He came back. He's about 60 yards out. That's definitely our buck. He's down. Oh, no way. Oh. Well, we got him. I kind of wanted that buck as well, but uh, he was about to run away and we took the shot and somehow we connected. All right, well, that was pretty cool. We took down the first buck with the bow at about 50 yards, and we had this buck here at about 60. Um, I really didn't like the crosswind that we had, and not only that, he was kind of facing us, so that's a really difficult shot to take. Let me show you where we're at on the map here. We are just south of the Willapeg Outpost, which is right here. Yeah, the Willapeg Outpost. And uh, there's a lookout tower right here. We set up a stand right here, and the whitetail were down here drinking from 12 until 1500. And I'm really curious to see where we hit this second buck. I know we smoked the first buck pretty good, but that second, well, technically it'd be the third buck because we got that first buck with the bow, but that's our big buck there. Where do we hit this buck? Maybe like neck or spinal cord? Uh, we ended up getting a spine and the liver shot as he was turning away to run 68 yards out and somehow we clipped the liver on that and dropped him and that's going to be a 199 gold whitetail buck there. That's pretty awesome. And this here is going to be our biggest whitetail probably. Yes, it is a 227 double lung demand 68 yards with the M1 there. Awesome shot on him as well. I just found a huge piebald whitetail buck. He's right over there about 150 yards away with uh, another potential max weight whitetail buck as well. They're right in this thick brush here. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much. I want to put out some calls and get in the stand as soon as possible. Basically, we have a stand set up behind us here, maybe 50 yards behind us. It's sitting up right there. So let's see if we can't get in and get this buck to come in. All right, we got two bucks and a doe right underneath us right now. Now we're just waiting for that piebald to step out. He's got to be over there somewhere. Come on, big piebald, step out, step out. Oh, that's him! Oh my god, that's him! That's him! We just smoked him! 
Oh my god, we got the pie ball out of a tree stand. I knew he was close. I didn't know he was right underneath us, though. Remember, there's still a really good buck over there somewhere as well. There's a Max White Whitetail. He never stepped out either. I don't know why. They were coming in and then they just stopped. You know what? We're going to hop down and take a look at this pieball buck though. That's all I know. All right, guys. Here he is down right here. Wow. <gasps> He's got a really cool rack too. I like this rack a lot. I think we made a double lung liver shot. But he's got a bunch of mass. Let's take a really cool picture of him, if we can get one. Well, we're not really going to be able to see very good because I can't have the light on right now, but we'll go with that for now. And let's pick him up and we'll be able to find out what he looks like in the trophy lot here in a second. That's a 177 piebald whitetail buck. Such a cool rack on him as well. 18 yards away, we got a double lung, a walking double lung shot out of the tree stand there. Take a look at that. Beautiful shot. Incredible rare whitetail buck there. And that is going to look incredible in our trophy lodge. Man, I never would have expected that to be there. Guess what, guys? I found the rest of the whitetails out there at about 160. They're right out there feeding. That's where the pie bulb came from. Now, I want to tell you something that happens sometimes, and that is... That piebald buck, well, I was calling for 10 minutes and he never came out. At first I saw him coming in, so we got in the stand, he didn't come in. And uh, I stopped recording, I didn't think he was coming in. And all of a sudden he was standing there, 50 yards away, broadside, trotting right in. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't recording. I was about ready to take the shot, and then I thought, I just want to double check to make sure I was not recording at that moment. So I am so glad I double checked before we took the shot. Then he actually trotted into these uh, these thick trees here for the longest time. He never stepped out, but I would have had some really cool footage of him coming in if I was actually recording. So that's the one thing you got to take into consideration here. So that big buck never did come in. And what I decided to do is set up a tree stand maybe like halfway up this ridge here. That way, after he's done drinking, he should come down the same path and we should be able to cut him off. Now we have the M1 and the bow. So if he doesn't come close enough for a bow shot, say he comes up there on that ridge, we're taking him down with the M1 guaranteed. We actually have a coyote about to walk past us here about 40 yards out. That's going to be in range. We might be able to take down this coyote right out of this tree stand here. That's pretty cool. It's going to be kind of a tough shot and uh, we might be able to practice with uh, seeing if we can get it to stop. Thought that was my stop whistle button. Where is it? Let's see, which one is whistle? Ah, I don't even have one as whistle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to take a trotting shot here at about 36. <laughs> but I guess we don't really need him to stop now, do we? <laughs> Just smoked her. About 36 on the walk. All right, guys, we've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now and we finally have some action. We got a small white tail buck out in the front, and I think there's a doe coming as well. So, not quite the buck we're after, but at least we got some action. That's not a bad looking buck. He just doesn't have very many tines. Big six pointers, or something like that. Well, again, not exactly what we're looking for, but we're going to get a male coyote to come right underneath us, and we are not going to pass up this opportunity. That's going to be pretty awesome. The fact that this buck didn't come in... It's not so awesome, but it's pretty cool that this coyote is about to come right underneath us and we are not going to pass this up. He's going to be 20 yards away. He's going to walk right underneath our tree stand. He actually might be about 10 yards away, actually. If he keeps coming that path, no, that's going to be about 20. See, he can't make up his mind if he wants to go right or left. Whoa, what was that? What was that? What the heck was that? We smoked him. Okay, so I tried to draw back and stand up and it like threw me back this way for some reason. I don't understand why it did that. But anyways, we ended up taking him down right underneath the tree stand at about nine yards away. So instead of getting two white tails, we actually got two coyotes out of this tree stand. But don't worry, we're gonna wait and I hope that buck steps out. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There's actually two of them, there's two of them. I don't know which one to take. I think the one in the front is the big, yeah, that's gonna be the biggest one right there. Wow, two beautiful white tail there. How are we going to get them to slow down? There's that buck. <laughs> yes!
this. We got him. We got both of them. Oh my god. First shot smoked him. The second shot dropped him. Right there. Both of them. I was sitting here waiting for about 35, maybe 40 minutes. We got a couple of coyotes. We got that decent buck that snuck in the back. And uh, there was no sign of those bucks anywhere. All of a sudden... I heard something on the back side of us here and I think they might have been feeding and next thing I know there was two beautiful bucks trotting off on my east side over here we pull out that one and they're going up this hill we had to try and pick out which one we wanted first and well we ended up getting both of them And got a thoracic vertebrae spinal cord shot 41 yards out. I'll take it. And this is our male that we got right out of the tree stand about nine yards away. There's the stand right there. And a nice double lung liver shot 11 yards away and 1300 cash for that coyote there. Pretty awesome shot right out of the tree stand. Not bad. I believe this might be the second biggest one. Yeah, this is the second biggest one. I think the other one was a little bit wider. Either way, this is a beautiful whitetail buck here. Let's take a look at him. And that's going to be a 211 double lunged him at 90 yards out right there. Awesome shot and an awesome whitetail buck down. But this here is probably going to be like a 220 or 230. I think he's a little bit wider than... Yeah, that's a really, really good buck. That's a huge whitetail buck right there. Take a look at that rack. That's a 223. We got a left lung on the trot at 92 yards out. Kind of an awesome shot, actually, considering he was trotting up that hill. 223 whitetail buck right there. Man, it was well worth it. Okay, so let me show you where our setup was for these two beautiful whitetail bucks here. We just took down the piebald whitetail buck right over here, maybe 250 yards away. But because I thought that these whitetails were actually coming from over here, and I knew that eventually they're going to come back this way, we set up a stand right here on this curb. And actually, I don't know, for some reason they're already over here. And we looked and they're already trying back up this hill here. So we took them down right here again. Willapeg Outpost is right here. And that is where we took down both those bucks and the piebald right here it's been probably somewhere over a year since we got our last rare white tail and now we already have two rares in two days yesterday actually two days ago we got an albino white tail buck here this guy right here he wasn't that special but still a really cool rare and he was a buck but today we got something that wasn't only just cool and a buck it was a pretty good size buck and a sweet rare piebald white tail buck I love this rack. Honestly, I am very, very happy with this rack here. I feel like it probably should be a gold, but then again, it doesn't really have brow tines. So, you know what? I'm still okay with it. I'm actually really okay with this buck. I wouldn't really want it any bigger unless it's going to be like a diamond because I already do have a gold piebald white tail buck. And the fact that he has a really cool color variation on him as well. You can see how he has like all the white kind of on his butt there, all the way through his chest and all the way on his leg and his neck all the way up. He's a really cool looking rare piebald white tail buck. And the fact that we took him out of a tree stand at about 20 yards on the walk with the bow was pretty cool to top it off as well. But I think that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.